So early on in the account, we learn a crucial bit of info about your character that informs the way she's acted at a certain point in the movie. Uh, what is something that you learned from your previous work that you took and applied to this movie? Hmm. Well, it's interesting because I've done a lot of television up until now, and TV for me has been really a great sort of training ground to, to be able to tackle a larger project like this. Um, every experience that you have with a project, you sort of take a little bit with you to the next. And I, I just like the idea that, you know, each project has been so different from the next. And I kind of like that I get the chance to even surprise myself. You know, sometimes I'm not sure how I'm going to go when I get onto a project. And, and there's always a sense of a little bit of intimidation. And, you know, you just want to do a good job. Um, but it's nice to feel like once you get there and you trust in your own abilities and you trust the people around you, um, you have the opportunity to really sort of take a character and run with it. And so I, I absolutely felt like I wanted to do that with this role. Cool. And speaking of TV, you played Amanda Waller on Arrow. I was a big fan of that. <laughs> when they killed you, obviously. <laughs> different conversation for a different day. Um, but um, you played Amanda Waller on Arrow and you got to build on that character over a series of episodes, that's obviously not the same when it, com when it comes to film. What are the advantages and disadvantages of having limited time with the character? Well, it's interesting because television moves at a very fast clip. So, you know, when you're working in TV, you have to accomplish a lot in a day and it goes very quickly, but in a way you learn to be very efficient. You know, you, on you, know, you only have a certain number of takes. So you really need to kind of boil it down to its essence and, and do that quickly. Whereas with film, you know, we had on this movie a little bit more time to, you know, just explore and discover things. And really, I, I like working both ways. I mean, sometimes you don't want to have too much time to think or you don't want to over rehearse and you just want to kind of dive in. And, you know, that's an interesting way of working. But it's also great when you have a sense of play with another actor. And in this film, JK and I really got to take our time to figure out what the dynamic was between these two characters. And it really it was a great collaboration between he and I and our director, Gavin O'Connor. So I loved working in this environment as well. Now, I think it's fair to say that your character, May Best Investigation Hunt for Ben Affleck's character, takes her down some avenues that she didn't quite expect. Uh, of all the previous movie and TV experiences that you've had, which project has turned out the most different from what you initially expected? Hmm, that's a good question. You know, I, I try not to have too many expectations because you really are focused on the task at hand. You know, you want to sort of do the work and not think too far ahead about what it's going to be like, how it's going to be received, um, because that can also be a trap, you know, if you get too concerned with what other people think. At the end of the day, you just want to, you know, do the character and the story justice and every project I've worked on is always a little bit different from how I envisioned. Um, you know, you read a story and then you see it and, and it's always interesting to see how something comes to life. And with this script, you know, from the start of the project to the finished film, um, it's really been exciting for me to see it evolve over time. And now with this film, I look at the title, and I think Ben Affleck, accountant, okay, he's good at mass, but as you, go and watch the film, you learn that he has a very unique other set of very awesome skills. We know about Cynthia Di Robertson, the actress. What's a unique skill which you don't really show up that much, which not, not many people know about? Hmm, I don't, I don't know about unique skills, but I'd like to think I'm multifaceted and, and have other uh, skills. But I've been asked a lot about math and if I'm any good at math or if I like math, and I don't use it often in my current occupation and in my adult life, but when I was younger, I went to a specialized school for math and science and computer science. So I studied that for a really long time, uh, you know, as a student. And then I decided one day that I instead was going to pursue acting. So I sort of okay. left all that behind. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I, I was an academic as a, as a youth and as a teenager. And I still think that some of the best actors that I know and admire are some of the smartest people I know. So I think it's still important to draw from academic life and apply it to the film business.